This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're making the Bushwhacker. This will be... Is our first recipe was yesterday. Is that... I mean, the guys go like this. The Bushwhackers from the WWE. F, yeah, yeah. if you were like me. This is a blended recipe. What did you ask me before I rudely interrupted? Did yesterday, did we do a blended recipe? I think so. Yes. We're kind of recording them out of order. Um, so I'm predicting what I'm going to do later for the day you already watched. Um... Because we don't have the ingredients. Don't try to explain. Just we need go. lemonade, I think, and lemons. Um, so blended week, we're gonna blend a bunch of drinks, not Sunday night shooters, but everything else up into that point is gonna be blended. And this would be an experiment that could go wrong at any time. I don't know what the what the final product of the blending will be, so I just won't talk when I'm doing it because I don't know how loud it's gonna be. It could be crazy. Uh, this recipe has one ounce of rum. Oh. This recipe comes from Brian, and Brian said that he found this all over the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, and abroad. So the closest I could find in my rum collection was Bermuda, and after doing some map work to figure out if it was even close, I was just trying to predict, if I were in the Virgin Islands, what would be the rum I would find? And you know what? If you know for sure, you should write it so that I know for the future. For now, I'm using Gosling's Gold Seal Bermuda Rum. Uh, gold Seal. Because it's Black Seal, it says gold. It's just gold. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we're going to do a half ounce of Irish cream. For Irish cream, I have chosen Emmett's Classic Cream because I haven't been able to find this stuff yet. Cool Swan. Best stuff you'll ever find on Earth. And if you had Cool Swan, we wouldn't need to use this other ingredient here, which is creme de cacao. Chocolate liqueur. We've got amaretto. They're going to be half ounce of everything but the rum. The rum is one ounce. Everything else, half ounce. We've got coffee liqueur. We're using the Especial version of Kahlua, so it's a little more potent, 70% for some reason. I think the Kahlua people have that stuck in my head. 70 proof, not 70%. They were all about that at Tales of the Cocktail. We're going to have some... It uh, worked. It did. Hazelnut liqueur. We're using for Angelico because that's the only hazelnut I have. Whew. I think that's it. Oh no, we're going to use some cream of coconut, half ounce, top it with nutmeg. And although it might not necessarily be tiki, I've got, I'm already prepared because next week I want to do all tiki shows. Hopefully I can do that since I just now said it. Um, so I'm gonna put it in a tiki glass. Uh, really, it's just a, it's a cool glass right there. So you, although you can't see it in the glass, I like to have glass that you can see through blended so you're gonna get that you already know what color it is and we'll move on from there so we're gonna blend it hopefully I get this little thing off I don't even I don't know if that's gonna work we could try it just to see if it's gonna work but there's not a lot of ingredients in here so I don't know if we're gonna be able to use the spout so what we're gonna do is start with cream of coconut because we can is in my hand already half ounce there you go we'll use Let's see. Um, go with the rum because it's the biggest next big ingredient. We'll do an ounce of what I'm using gold rum. You can use whatever rum you have. I know people that watch our show are very like 80% of what the alcohol market probably has would be uh, what we represent, which is the common man. So I'm going to say use what you got. If you want to go out and buy something, buy something that you think you could find at St. Thomas or imagine you were there. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the amaretto. I think I'm going to forget where I left off. Half ounce. What's it doing in order? By alphabetical? No, in the way that it's on the screen. I got, uh, I got cream de coconut on my hands and it's all sticky now. Is that cool? Great. You always want to do that when you're at the bar. <laughs> yeah, because you'll get the chicks that way. You get all the chicks. Well, if you wipe it off after with a napkin. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that. 
I get on 5minutes.com, I get a lot of flaming. Like, people just hate me there, which is fun, because I love to see what they come up with. They're telling me how. Didn't you already do that? What? For Angelica? No. Okay. Um, you could smell this from a mile away. You know if you did this. They're telling me how, oh, you're not doing this professional like you do it at a bar, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, read the title again. We're not doing this like we do it at a bar. Yay, you. You pay attention. <laughs> you fail at reading. Right. Sarcasm. All right, so there we go. All of our ingredients are in there. Move that out of the way so you can see it. Looks brown. Looks gross. Oh, awesome. That should be good. I was about to put this on here. Yeah, it may work. You have to hold it. It'll work a little bit. So here we go. Got it broke. That's awesome. That's Kinda why it looks I bought like coffee. One. It does look like coffee. It's got a nice foamy little head on it. You can't really see it. Ooh, look, see, you can see the color. It's kind of like that brown color. Ooh, I could do this too. Uh, it's. I made it so it's a little more watery because this straw. I don't know really if it would be able to suck up the straw, but ooh, it's really freaking cold. I can tell you that right now. You didn't do it right. Made it too watery. Uh -huh. Just beating the five minute.com people. Yeah, just so they can say it. Hmm. You know what? Tastes, the initial taste was that of a mudslide. Still getting some chocolatey sweetness at the end, but the amaretto plays big. Like, Throw some nutmeg on the top like it asks for. I don't really know. Since I'm using a straw, they probably just give a better nose, like a... I always think eggnog, because I always put nutmeg on my eggnog. I guess that's the garnish, because it floats on the foam. It's like an almond mudslide. Does that sound good? Would you drink an almond mudslide? I might. You've got the coffee, the chocolate, the almonds. The, I think even the coffee, because you've got the Irish cream playing together with the with the hazelnut. You're getting like the hazelnut coffee thing over here, and then you're getting the almond over here. And it's it's really neat. It's got a nice, of obviously, blended consistency. Uh, if you want more thickness, add more ice. You want less thickness, depending on who you are and how big your straw hole is. You could do whatever you want with that or just suck it right out of the glass. Um, the chill makes it really difficult to find the rum in this recipe, but I think the rum is really there because a lot of these guys don't typically play a lot of big roles in the alcohol percentage, so the rum is there to fill it out. Uh, so there you go. That's the Bushwhacker. Tasty. Picture mudslide with almonds, and you're kind of heading in the right direction. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv for more blended recipes. We're teaching you how to drink. Blended.